if your aim is to grow your hair strong and thick i repeat strong and thick then take a seat relax because this video is specially for you but if your aim is not to grow your hair strong and thick then see you in my next video because this one is not for you i know you have seen a lot of methods on how to make carrot oil and carrot butter but after trying this method i'm about to show you you will be addicted to it because it is super potent in fact it is the best method i have ever used in making carrot oil and butter these products are great for your scalp and your hair it thickens your hair it makes your hair grow stronger longer and thicker because of the vitamin a in carrot it prevents hair from breaking it's sealing moisture into the hair and it also promotes healthy hair growth you can also use the oil as a pre -poo. the only ingredients we need right here is carrot i will definitely add other things but the main ingredient is carrot carrot oil and butter are rich in vitamin a e and beta carotene which are essential nutrients your hair needs to grow longer thicker and stronger if your hair is becoming thin it is weak and it is breaking unnecessarily you might want to incorporate carrot oil and butter into your hair regimen because it will make your hair strong but except what you're experiencing is as a result of medical condition then make sure you seek a medical advice but if it is not a medical condition carrot oil and butter will help you take care of them so what i just did is to cut off the two ends of the carrots i washed them and then pat them dry because you don't want the water to be dripping out of the carrots like i said earlier we are going to be using a special method to make this oil and butter so you don't need water in your carrots but after washing and cutting off the ends i just peel them and then grate them into small pieces after grating this is what it looks like i'm now going to get a stainless bowl you can use any bowl of your choice but i'm using a stainless bowl in this case and after transferring it into the stainless bowl i'm going to add almond oil i chose almond oil because it is not too heavy because i'll be using this oil for both my scalp and my hair so i'll be adding almond oil please check the description box below to know the amount of ingredients i use in making this diy after adding the almond oil i will go in with coconut oil if you're the type that is prone to dandruff coconut oil is really great for your scalp i will be adding my desired amount of coconut oil to the mixture like i said earlier check the description box everything will be listed there mind you the amount of oil and carrots you need to make this depends on the amount of diy you want to make it depends on the amount of oil and butter you want to make so if you are not making as much as i am making make sure you reduce the oils okay if you are not using as much carrot as i'm using then reduce the oil while i was mixing that together my water was heating up on fire so i'm just going to transfer the carrot and the oil into the water i'm going to heat them up using the double boiler method now i must say this you have to be patient when you're using this method to make your carrot oil it takes a lot of time but trust me it is worth your time because after making it and using it for just one week you will testify after using it for just one week you will be glad you used this method in making it because all the ingredients and nutrients are well infused into the oil so you are just going to heat it up on double boiler method until the carrot 
turns pale i repeat heat it up until it turns pale now you can see that the carrot is gradually changing color and when i'm satisfied with the color i've gotten i'll just turn off the heat and then leave it to cool down a bit before i strain you can use either a strainer or a cloth we cap anything to strain this one because the carrot particles are not that small that it will fall off from your strainer so i'll be straining using these cheese cloths when you get to this point of straining don't be discouraged because in the process you will see water coming out of the carrot oil because you did not fry them so the water are not dried up you see the water there are the white particles you can see on top of the oil so to get rid of this water i'm going to put it in the fridge not freezer i'll put it in the fridge until the oil solidifies and the water will settle at the bottom that is the trick to get the water out of it now look at the bottom of the plastic you will see the water right there the color is not same thing as that of the carrot oil so what i'm just going to do is to bring out the carrot oil and then get the water out of it i'm going to be using my spoon to scrape the water out of it just look at the water right there just use your spoon to scrape them out and make sure there is none left in the carrot oil because if you have water left in the carrot oil it is going to go bad on time but to prevent it from going bad make sure you take the water out so this one right here i'm just going to throw them away that's the water you can see it right there so i'll just throw them away if you don't want to throw them away you can use them immediately in one or two days because it will go bad in a very short time now this is the clean carrot oil that i have i'm going to leave that aside to melt before i use it so while that is melting i'll just measure out the amount of butter i will be using for this diy like i said earlier the amount of ingredients you use depends on amount of diy you want to make now the oil is finally dissolved this is what it looks like if you look at it closely you will not notice that white particles on it again that is to say the water is finally out of the carrot so what i'm going to do now is to add the amount of oil i want to the butter okay so i'm just going to measure out three of this cup into the butter but if you want your butter to be a little lighter than mine you can add more oil but because i don't want it too light i want it to be medium consistency that is why i'm using three of that cup and one of that cup is about 40 ml so i'm just going to heat this up on double boiler method until the butter is fully dissolved and when it is dissolved just take it out of the fire there is no need to heat it for too long i'll put this in the fridge to solidify before i show you the next step back to the oil preparation what i'm going to be adding to the oil nest is my essential oil check the description box i will list all the essential oil that i use there but you don't have to use the exact ones i am using you can use any essential oil of your choice as for me i use rosemary lavender tea tree and mint essential oil i just use few drops of them not too much and after adding all the oils i'm just going to mix them to combine and then i will store it up in any container of my choice i want to take this time to say a very big thank you to my old and new subscribers and if you're seeing me for the first time thank you for stopping by if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up drop a comment and also share with your loved ones so this is what i have out of the oil 
the white container is for me and as for this one in this uh, drop bottle i'm going to be gifting it out to someone this oil is a must try if you love diys and you want your hair to become strong and thick like i said earlier you need to try this carrot oil okay so this is what the oils look like now let's move on to the butter the butter has solidified and this is what i have it should not be too strong before you work with it right here this one is a bit too strong but i can still work with it you can decide to use your butter in this hard form and you can decide to mix it to make it a little more fluffy i personally prefer the fluffy butter because it absorbs into your hair faster than the thick one and i'll also add some essential oil to the butter i have rosemary lavender and green tea essential oil at this point you can use either your electric mixer or your hand mixer to mix your butter to make them fluffy and after a while i'll just add the essential oils which is the lavender the rosemary and the green tea essential oils for the butter essential oil is not a must you can skip this part if you don't have essential oil then i'll keep on mixing it with my spoon until everything comes together you know if you are from nigeria or from africa you know how we make a bar and a cam. just keep turning it that way if you don't have a hand mixer or electric mixer just keep using either your spoon or your fork to keep turning it until they all come together and the butter is looking lighter than the previous color now look at what i have it is now fluffy this is the consistency that i love for my hair so i'll go ahead and store it into this airtight container if you're using essential oil for your butter or your oil make sure you store them in a dark place this is what i have for the butter this butter is so great for your hair it is great to seal in moisture into your hair this is something you should try after one week of using this you will definitely testify after hydrating and moisturizing your hair you just use this to seal in moisture into your hair you can use it once or twice a week and as for the carrot oil i'll be coming up with a lot of videos using this carrot oil so if you've not yet subscribed consider subscribing and turn your notification bell on so you will be notified when i start uploading those videos thank you so much for watching see you in my next video have a great day bye